is to our diploma in performing arts and creativity, creative arts and technology. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the last station. A jukebox musical. A jukebox musical is a theater musical that utilizes songs from well-established and popular culture already established. The most famous that I'm sure everyone has heard of is Mamma Mia. They use right. famous songs and using it in new contexts to fit with a certain story. So, basic data advocates, please put your phones on silent at all times during the performance. If any of you brought snacks, please keep munching to a minimum. Later we hungry or so. Now the washroom, if you all need it, can be found outside. You walk straight and then you turn it all the way until you see a lift. That's where the washroom for the guests are. The musical demanded to be one hour thirty minutes, but it will be two hours for everyone. Uh, demanded that we thought it was a ridiculous idea because Musicals generally are two hours long, so we don't listen to nonsense requests. The demands and demands that there will be a five minute intermission in half of the story. In that time, guests are allowed and required to go to the toilet if you need to, as is necessary. Yeah? So, without further ado, I've taken enough time from you all, and I hope you all enjoy our final year project, The Last Station. Bas di kaya satu satu kosong lapan, e satu satu kosong lapan, pestesian pertukaran, LMP satu akan berlepas sementara lagi. Kau enggak terima. Good morning. One ticket to the world. Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, LRP one station is one ticket. Q then N. Thanks. Thank you. Um, where's the furthest this bus will go? Airport. Far. Okay, great. One of that. Stag at me. Alright. Thank you.
others. That's it, Ted. I know what I'm going to do today. I'm going to save the world.
What's the catch? Beware. Beware the one I bet it. A slot machine? Yeah, I don't gamble. I don't want to lost even last my money. Do you want to be famous or not? What? How shiny you be for real? If Madam Mooch says you will be famous, then you will be famous. Sky, just give it a try, alright? Just. Okay, let me be famous then. Then so be it! What's that? Who? Oh. Where did she go? Forget it, that's cool. Alright. See, I told you, just try new things out there sometimes. Okay? Oh, my goodness. Oh, where's Smooch? Oh, she's never here. Um, hey, aren't you the actor? Yes, you. Um, from the play, um, Downtown, what's it called again? I forgot, I keep forgotten. Um, a brush with this festival. Oh, yes, that's the one. You saw that play? Yes, you were incredible. Thanks. Anyways, where's the two widow of a witch? Hello? Yes, you know. What? Director? What director? That's the director? <laughs> they saw the play. They want me. Oh, okay. Um, had some shady for um, Madam Mitch? Mooch. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mooch. Oh, you're coming? You're on the way? Alright, cool. See ya. Bye. So, your agent? Yeah, I bring you some casting director saw the tea and they want to offer me a big book. See, don't you afraid of the little things, Sky? Work out for you, didn't it? You'll be famous. That's something I admit it. Look. Yes, look. 
Okay, explain a little bit more about the role. You asked me just one. Our director knew. This director is also famous not for wanting a whole lot more from his talent than in this contract. He can take you far. I really didn't take me anywhere. Sky! <laughs> Sorry, is Adric Salva. We don't need comedian. We need who can direction well. Sky, we talked about this before. Just because you're afraid of everything, don't drop every opportunity. This of all ones that I arrange. Then I have to from from wanting to take more about from me. I want to give it. What are you expecting? Being famous in both give and take. I want to give anything that I want to give to you. I'm done with this. You need another agent. What? Thanks for nothing. Please, you know they look happy. What happened? Apparently, most fortune was right. Uh, the bandit or the fame thing? Both? Oh, interesting enough. Uh, let's go over this. Let's go. Oh, anyways, we should get the number, sorry, number we bought from which. Seeing that, unfortunately, we have been right so far. Really? Yeah, I mean, what's the worst that could happen now, right? Oh, well, uh, I think I have to stand up more about myself. <laughs> I can't wait any longer. Where's Mooch? At the back door, maybe laughing at us, no doubt. I want to see Mooch now. Let's raise some money, he will be out. Oh, we have some money. What if I wait this instead? Go to get money. Come down, man. Come down, man. Come down, we, we don't want any problem right now, okay? But that's what you're going to get on this arsy Mooch. Oh, back door, maybe, 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 maybe not there. Please, just let us pass. Afraid not? I'd like a back door with my car. Now come along! You will make this a short stay! Alright, we see you have a gun, like, you have for me, so... I, I don't see any problems right here, okay? Shit! Your ass is down! Right, right, right. Ow! Oh, oh, oh. March! You better get out of here before I start shooting the rise in the walls! Hello, Joe. What do you want? I want my life back. Do you want that you ruin it? You all know what this guy did. Huh? She told my husband that I've been sleeping around and then he left me. I cannot hide the truth. But that's not the truth. I've been faithful to my husband. Have you? Yes. I said you know what is I'm married with him. What about oh. Mark? Mark? Mark, my ex. Well, I am better since I'm married. Oh, oh, oh dear, my vision's was a button cross. <clears throat> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Is that all you can say? Oh, dear. You were in my life, and all you can say is, oh, dear. Fix my life now. I cannot change the past. I can only predict the future. <laughs> Hello, my Mr. Puzzle. 
guess what? I just got fired. Again? This is the third time you're getting fired, you know. Well, I try to like my job, but I can't. You know how I always dreamed it? To start a new band. Imagine me being on stage, writing up song, and people just stare at me. You? Please. Think realistically, la. Imagine, Satya. Two vocalists with guitarists, bassists. Of course, you said drummer. And keyboardists.
Welcome the Amiibo! I'm Ilo Ismael, the CEO of Remember Records. 
You guys heard about the companies, right? It's the biggest recording company in Malaysia, Mr. Desmond. We're so honored to meet you. Thank you. Uh, you guys are strange of mix of circus, but you might do. Oh, uh, I got to go. Good luck, kids. Thank you, Mr. Desmond. So guys. Who's off the pizza? Me! Let's go, let's go. Are you ready to come in? Hello. Hello, guys. So, what do you think of the song with like, should we put it in a playlist? I like that. Okay. Just put it in a playlist. I'm not a fan of the tone. No, it's not like one more time. Oh, we should plan for the face tonight. I think we should be here. Yeah. Well, hello. Uh, you guys are not cooking really very hard for your finale, right? Uh, of course, Miss Chen. We are gonna grab some drinks. Can you join us? Thanks, but I'm just here for something urgent. Adira, I need to speak to you alone. Hmm. Hey, so, Adira, do you still remember Mr. Louis Bunny? Yes, how can I forget it? So, he asked me to meet you up today. You see. Mr. Ismail sees the potential in you. The moment you step on the stage, a star is born! Huh? I'm not sure. What are you planning to say? <laughs> Adira, you want to see the star with family cards? Wow, that's amazing. I'll tell them the good news. Um, there's no time in this. Huh? What? Just me? I can't do that. I have my bag. You're hard working to win this competition. Oh honey, how blind can you be? They, they're just a bunch of amateurs waiting for their next big break. Why wait when you can sign up with us? We will make you a pop star, the biggest artist of the century. I do not know what to say, Miss Chen. You can say yes, my dear. Yes, meaning them yes. Okay. Now, take my card and give me a call. Leave them as soon as possible. Thank you, Miss Chen. Yo, fellas, what's the news? Well... <laughs> you know, that lady who creeps me up, she was really odd when she saw us. Uh, let's not talk about that old lady, but let's talk about Rio Ismael. Oh, 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 oh my oh, god, the guy's amazing! That guy's so cool. Pioneer of music. Uh, yeah. Relation. Yeah. They offer me contract with them records. Oh, oh. Oh. Yes. Just, just, just you? Yeah. Oh, oh. I see. Did you accept the offer? Yes, yes, I did. Yeah. It's an opportunity of lifetime. I need big break. Oh. Yes. So, so what? Then how about us? So you're gonna show us that the bus for the finale is near? Sam, you can take all of this. We can't see where. Yes. Adira, are you even listening to yourself right now? You guys can't blame me if Mrs. Mind signed me. He knows my hand. Adira, are you even listening to yourself right now? Why do I even bother you guys? You know what? I don't need any of your approval. That's the case, then we're leaving. Good luck on a new found career. Come on, guys. We're amigos? We're a band? Yeah, right. Ciao. You know what, guys? I was there for you when you needed someone. Satya. Thanks. Whatever, I'm gonna call Arya. What? What is this? Hello? Hello? No. Arya? Sam? Satya? Ruby? Gabby? Guys? 
this is not my fault. So yes, I left my friend. Stupid friend records. They are the ones saying their own game. You just wanted your needles to break up. It seems like it, stupid. Just well, left I people's hair. Wasn't bad as mine though. Uh, what? It's true. Oh yeah, I'll support her, but this is too much. 
every time all the jobs, yes, we're looking for a mix-up, but guess what? They just need Ed. How about us, Ed? Maybe let them qualify to be her exclusive heir. Huh. Yeah. So, we're gonna talk about it, huh, right now. Huh. The truth is, I'm actually sad and disappointed. Well, I wish to be in Star Wars Team Magazine too, you know. But it's only Anne now. Is she not perfect? <sighs> uh, yes, exactly. That's my point. Oh, she's so gorgeous. Oh, she's my ideal type. Anne, Anne! Someone's looking for you, Anne! Oh, all right, all right, all right. Just calm down, alright? What, what if Anne walks in and heard what you just said? Uh, Don't make it hot. Think about me? Uh, okay, I'm sorry for what I've done, but what just happened? And nothing happened. Go, go get some rest. And it sucks. I heard everything out there. Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, right, guys? We were chilling. And the best actress of war goes to me. Hey, <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh my goodness. Still don't get it? She means that you're a drama queen. Drama queen? Who has more drama? Both of you or all of you? I will always be there for you. We're so proud of you. It's been 10 years I've been tolerating. This is just so disappointing. Hey, guys. I thought it. True. Yeah, we still have part of my life. Guys, guys, just go to, go to your room and rest, alright? Tomorrow it will be a better day. Guys, guys, stop our drinks and beer! Okay, look at To be honest, I hate arguing with you. We've been best friends for as long as I can remember. But this is too much. We are mixers. I am a mixer, we are mixers. But yet we always feel so left out. Isn't that right, bro? Yeah. We've got unappreciated for 10 years of our hard work. Yeah. You know, I felt so left out. This is not what we used to be. What, from a group performance to now dancing some backup dancers? Huh? And what, all the jobs are just looking for you. And, and then how about us? We try so hard to let others notice us, but no, it's only you, Anne. I try my best. I try my best to give the best of each of you. I thought all of the support from you guys was real. But I'm wrong. What else I can do or what am I supposed to do? I'm so sorry, guys, but I can't. about this for a long time. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I guess. Johnny, how about you? I... I actually was thinking about the suit. Sorry, guys. As if you know, I'm, I'm still studying and... John, have you heard this? I have no idea how to stop this. I'm just so tired. No? No, I'm new, right? I'm okay. okay, you know what, you know what, just, it's alright, so girls, just take your time, and you're gonna go back to your dorms, let me go to sleep tonight, I'll think about it, and I'll let you all know tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow will be a better day, we can talk about this like civilized people. Thank you.
strangers and miss her teammates. I currently accept that in this plan, and that's why I'm going on a vacation. They didn't really talk about it, huh, together? No, I think much that we could change since everyone has their own path.
I'm not gonna do it, all right? I'm here to tell you I'm graduating soon and I'm leaving for college. And, and, and I just need you to do this for me, for us. Then after this, you can do whatever you like. I won't stop you. And what? Ruin my reputation for this? If you're my papa, you should know what I want and what's best for me. Of course I know what's best for you and of course I understand. No, you don't, papa. Ever since mama died, you stopped caring. All you ever did was drunk from parties, came back home from work late night. Do you have any ideas what it's like having a father? I, I rarely see you or talk to you. You're not always there, right? You were there when I needed you. I'm sorry to feel that way. It's been hard for me too after your mama died. I couldn't cope and I tried. I tried to get close to you. But you remind me too much of your mama. I have my reasons and for why I do the things that I do. You, just... you don't have to explain them all. Because if you care, you would have done your part when mama left. Thank you. And I brought you the guests. Not now, Monica. Here. Anyways, uh, and this is Thomas Gillas. Thomas, this is Emily. Hello, Emily. I heard so much about you from your Papa and Monica. Funny, nice to meet you. Uh, I'm sorry, who is this? That's Thomas Gillas, the man who you are going to marry. Thomas.
Look at where we are Look at where we started I know I don't deserve you, my child Just hear me out and that would be enough If I could spare her life If I could trade her life for mine She'd be standing here So, you gave all that up for college? Sort of. I don't even know if this is what I want now. Don't know what I'll do there. I'm honestly just lost. Yeah, I'm glad you see that. Hold on. You, you look familiar. You, Marius Monterin from the Terrence Company. The who and what now? You don't know him? No. Nah. Well, he was supposed to take over the parents' company. We learn about your family in business class. Oh. What are you doing here in a broken down bus with those peasants? Oh. Great. And it's a pose. <laughs> From what I've heard, you're supposed to be dead. 
a selfish bread and daddy smile. Traveling to the city with the telescope, thinking you're better than any Good one! Bread and center. I just said. Dang, Shut it! Oh. Alright, alright, guys, I'm done. You know what? You can clear up some of the rumors floating around. <laughs> alright! Alright, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Although I don't have money anymore, at least I still have my loyal fans, huh? Yeah. So, you want to know about the life of Marius Montero? Nope. The most handsome, capturing the hearts of ladies all around the city, and rich as heck. Yes? Go on, go on, pretty boy. <laughs> You're saying mom is weak. No, I didn't say that. Look, no offense, Marius, but it's clear. 
that you are dad's favorite ever since you were born. Well, no, take it. You know, things change. He, he distanced himself from me. And now he wants me to be the CEO. I'm, I'm not ready. Okay, look, I'm sorry I said that, Marcus. Okay, I'm, I apologize. I was out of line. Okay? You know, you know what? It's okay. As long as you're not following my footsteps, you're good. Thank you. I mean, of course, not on the point who said you are headed off to college. What are you even going to do there? Run away, Ricky. What? Come on! <laughs> Pack your suitcase and leave everything behind. Free, at last. I am not doing that. I am telling on mom. I'm telling everyone. Come on, chill, Ricky, chill. You're a coward, Ricky. I was just asking a silly question and you get all riled up. Look, no, as much as I want to leave, I can't simply just walk out of here. I have responsibilities. We have one problem here. I'm not going to add another one. Hey, 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 hey. Boys, boys, please. Marius, let me look at your face. Mm -hmm. Mom. Mom, I'm okay. okay. Do you have to do that to your father? We just found out that he's not doing very well. <laughs> not doing very well? Is it like he got the energy to slap the heck out of me a few minutes ago? Dude, be serious. Marius, we, we just found out that your father is in the third stage of heart failure. And anytime soon, he's going to collapse. And... Come on, Marius. things would have cleared out a bit. Regardless, you two are the only hope for this family. So, please, for my sake, never forget the family. You will know. You will know. Alright, now, everyone get some rest. Tomorrow, it's a big day. You make us proud. You make your proud. proud. Alright, off to bed. Bedtime. I'm sorry, Mom, but I'm in charge of my own destiny. Hello! 
is the slushy machine here still working? Okay. Yeah. 
show you another side of my Wait, wait, wait. You, you, you want to? Don't ruin the movie, kid. <laughs> Richard 
Ontario. Selamat datang kepada syarikat Bonterian. Nama saya Richard Bonterian. Saya adalah CEO kepada syarikat ini. Pada hari ini kita akan mempersembahkan produk-produk yang baru kepada syarikat The Bonterian. Ricky? Marius? Ricky? Marius? Marius! Marius! Marius, my brother, my baby. Well, I'm here now. Okay? Yeah, okay. Um, but, where's mom and dad? I, I, I did you. I have to talk to you about something. Just give me a minute. So I see him. So I see him in the half. I need to speak to my brother for a moment. My assistant will take over today's presentation. Thank you. You are lying. So. How's life going for you, huh? Mr. Bontarian, uh, the CEO of Terrian Company. <laughs> I'm glad you got what you want. Um, I bet that is part of me. Yeah, um, that might have been part of me. Uh, uh, what's that supposed to be? That is... Dad is dead, Marius. He died a few months back. Oh. Well, this now you're the CEO. You deserve the position more than I do. Is that the only thing that comes to your mind, Marius? That I'm CEO? How cool can you be? What are you talking about now? Look at you. You're able to carry the company alone. That isn't the point, Marius. Do you know what your father said in his deathbed? That if you were to come back, then you would be given the title of CEO. He outright refused me for the position. Do you know how that felt? And now you're telling me that I can just take over the company. <laughs> Ricky, what options do I have? Huh? I've been gone for two years and what? Put on a good suit and what? Show myself to the public and act like nothing happened? Yes, what if that's what I want you to do because it's his wish, I will do it whatever it takes. Really? Stop. Enough. Stop it. Enough. Come with me. Let's sleep. Everything behind. No, Marius, this is not a Disney movie. Enough is enough. I can see that you try. Come take my hand. You'll be free. You will be free. No, Marius. Marius? Marius, oh, my child, my baby. Where have you been? Have you showered? Have you eaten? I'm okay. I'm okay. Just, just don't cry. Just don't cry. It's okay. We can do this later, Mom. We need to settle this now. Huh. There's nothing to settle. I'm not going to take over the company. I'm true. All right. Then you are no longer part of the Terrian company. You are no longer my brother. You will not show yourself to any events public or private. Ricky. Ricky, you can't do this to your brother. If I catch you trying to talk to my mom again, you will be dead. You have no longer any part of this family. You are on your own. Ricky, Ricky, what are you saying? Ricky, what it's is this? Mr. Von Terrian to you. Now please leave this place before I call the police. Leave! Fine! I'll go! Morris, don't you go. Mom, I, 
I can't go back to freaking Hexie. I'm sorry, I was immature, and I, I was... I have forgiven you, all right? Ever since the day you left, I would never hate my sons, no matter what happened. I, I'm so sorry. Oh. Morris, please. Here. Some money. No, no, I can't take your money, take Mom. It. I can't take it. Morris, take it. I know you'll come back to us one day. Richard won't be mad at you forever, so... Now go, all right? Take care. And go. Now! for a very long time. What are you going to talk about now, huh? Enough, Teresa. Don't speak. What is yeah. interesting? Uh, I don't know how I'm ever going to take this, but today I just have every one of y'all just to know this. I'm, I'm facing hormonal issues. What do you mean by hormonal issues, Tristan? Yeah. Just cut the crap and tell the truth, she said. Spit it out. I want to become a transgender. I want to transform myself into a woman. Transgender. Is that so interesting? What is this? You think this is normal? The answer is no, you are a boy. Why would you do this to this family at this time? <laughs> it's not my fault, Dad. Why don't you people understand that? I know it. There are something fishy going on with you. Nothing makes sense for my makeup kids for this. You know what? You're a disgrace to this family. How can you even think like this? Stop it, everyone. Why everyone being so mean? Dad, come on. Tristan is my brother. He's our family. We can just banish his family. Simon, stay family. out of this. You do not know what is right and wrong in this matter. So you're telling me you're doing the right things? Yes. Come on, Dad. He's our family. No matter what, I'll protect him and I will 
do whatever he wants. If that's the case, then you can leave with him. Being the man of this house, I will not put this family's reputation and respect at stake. For God said that I'm looking, I'm looking to you. I'm looking, I'm respecting, and this is how you show me. I lost respect for you. You show me you are wrong. Son of a, you take that. Boys, boys, please. Why are you guys fighting? I don't want to see all of this. You know what? I'm sorry, Ma. We have to go through this because of me. Perhaps not because I just leave. Tristan, Tristan, please. Please, you are my son. You are my little boy. Whatever it is, you are still my son. What? How will if you leave? How will I? If you leave, well, how, what? What will I do without you? How will I live? Huh? 
so you can feel better about yourself. I don't think you're broken. A little loss, sure, but that's not your fault. That's the fault of all the voices that try to silence you. Yes. He, he lies, Sophia, he lies. Don't let him get into your head. He means to hurt you. You liar! You're just like them. You're just like all of them.
kill your father, those, those people? Maybe. So what? Oh. Killing isn't right, Ophelia. And neither is feeding the life out of your own child. I don't see anyone giving a shit about that. Two wrongs do not make it a right, Ophelia. And what is that? I ran from one killer just to come to another. Say that again, you little bum! Hey, 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 whoa, 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 hey, 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 this is so messed up. This is not happening right now. Alright, everyone, let's just, let's just talk about this, okay? Talking about this, she picked someone. Yeah, let's stop by calling the police! I don't think we can get any police in time, right here. Guys, stop it, you're antagonizing her! You're all the same. Always the same. You just, just wanna hurt me. Hey, no one wants to hurt you, Ophelia, okay? Just calm down. Okay? Just take it down. Just calm it down. Slowly. Forget the mess. Mr. Savior They all deserve it. All of them! Even the priest? Almost all. <laughs> and mission of guilt? Right there. Death! A mission of guilt, right? right there. Say that again, coward! You left your friend to die. You left her behind in someone dangerous. Dangerous like you, Stanley. Now, you have talked to your father about his actions. Not everyone's willing to bend or bend like they do for your princess. Hey, that's rude. Guys, guys, don't get angry now, right? We, we can talk about this. No, what do you expect from a murderer? That's funny coming coming from you, you spoiled rich brat. You caused your father's death. Oh, well, I decided to give you the knife. I'll be back to this. Yes, she tried to kill me! Yes, she did. She tried to kill me! She tried to kill me! Calm down, Marius! It's enough, all of you! Calm down! None of this is helping! Not to you, not to her, so just stop it! Just, just calm down. Please, this is intense. Calm down. He screwed up strangers on a broken bus. One murderer. Yes, She's just one person! Okay. One person. Guys, look at this. Hate broken people. Hurt. Running away. Running from, from friends, from families, from our actions, and running from ourselves. Lost. But have you all thought about it? Hmm? Have you? Where are we running to? Where is that last station? I, I just want to disappear. We all do.